back an old friend of the show, the first lady of subsidised theatre, Miss Anna Mann. I love it. No, 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 that's honestly way too much, but thank you, thank you. <laughs> hello, hello, I'm back, Anna Mann, actress, singer, barber, briefly, in the 80s, who wasn't, siren of the stage and screen. If I say, who's for Turkish Delight, anyone? Little ripple of recognition down there. <laughs> who's for Turkish Delight, Turkish Delight, Turkish Delight? I am. Anyone? No? <laughs> Channel 4, 1992, 3am? No? Little ripple of recognition <laughs> over there. Anyway. I'm here to talk a bit about a very serious issue, and that's the issue of depression. When I did my show, All About Depression, um, and it's pissy little sister anxiety, I went straight to the NHS. Surprise, surprise, we can't help you with that. And yes, they were a dentist, but still. <laughs> They're actually very good. They pointed me in the right direction. I end up in a sort of therapy group. Well, within 10 minutes, I'm running the group. Um, 20 minutes, he retires, and in half an hour, I decide to put on a show about it. <laughs> so I take all their stories, I don't ask their permission, I can't be bothered. And it was really fascinating. You know, they told me not to do the show. You're too old, Anna. You don't know what you're talking about. Stick to what you're good at, sleeping and crying. <laughs> Somebody's gonna get hurt. It'll be Aliens the Musical all over again. <laughs> Little recognition over there. <laughs> no one in space can hear me scream, but boy, can they hear me sing! Um, he's no good for you, says Mommy. Put a creature in your tummy. He's up to no good. He's got acid for blood. But I can't help it if I love him. <laughs> Close the first night. Um, <laughs> no, honestly, they were handing out P45s during the interval. <laughs> that was before anyone died. But no, I had to do this show for you, the little people, the pibbly wibblies, the chumbly wumblies, them what can't speak for themselves. Um, depression is a very serious issue, it really is. Um, now, I'm going to shout out some myths about depression, and I'd like to shout back whether they're right or wrong, OK? So, depression started with monkeys. Is that right or wrong? <laughs> is it wrong? Thank you, yes. By the way, if you're the audience at home, you can also shout at your televisions. I just won't know. <laughs> um, <laughs> you can't get depression standing up, right? Wrong, thank you. Depression is used as an energy source in China. <laughs> Wrong, probably. To be fair, they can be a harsh bunch. Um, no, oi, as I learned to my peril when I toured uh, Chairman Mao the musical. A uh, little ripple of recognition over there. <laughs> Chairman Mao, won't you give me a smile? Won't you give me a look? Stick me in your little red book. <laughs> Chairman Mao, Chairman Wow, Chairman Now, Now, Now. Um, <laughs> different sense of humour over there. Um, no, honestly, that review nearly killed me. You know, the truth is, over 100% of people, that's one in one people, will at some point <laughs> suffer depression. To put that another way, that's one person out of every person in this room. <laughs> so, what's the answer? Well, does anyone know? Alcohol, that, if anything, <laughs> makes it worse, but keep on glugging, that's what I do. <laughs> um, bless you, darling, bless you. No, I'm afraid the answer is running. Um, whoever you go to, whatever you say, you know, Doctor, help me, I think I've got depression. Have you tried running? Uh, but, Doctor, I feel like there are crabs in my eyes. <laughs> you could go running or perhaps do a bit of yoga. Why don't you just give me a pill, you little shit? Just give me a pill to make it go away. Or you could go running and do a bit of yoga. So we've all done it, come on. So you do it, don't you? Get up early, you know, 2.30 in the afternoon. Um, you go running on the beach. Oh, fuck this. You get home, you drink a pint of gin, you fall asleep, you get up the next day. Come on, we can beat the blues. We've all been there. You're running up and down the beach, you're drinking a pint of gin, you wake up the third day, boom, it's working. We're running. <laughs> We're running. We're feeling better. We're beating our blues. We're doing a bit of yoga on the beach. We meet a couple of people, Roger and George. They're running too. They're beating their depression and you form a little running club, don't you? And you enter a half marathon and you win. Well, you finish, almost. <laughs> and then you're there on the dance floor with Roger and George and you're doing a bit of yoga and you'll get off with Roger and George is really angry about it. You didn't even know he liked you. He <laughs> puts something on social media. Next day, Roger's wife comes at you with a sort of shank. <laughs> Luckily, 20 years of stage combat kick in. You break her arm. Next thing you know, you're hauled up in front of the judge, waiting to be seen. You 
do a bit of yoga, and then you're barred <laughs> from uh, Luton. <laughs> then you wake up the next day, and you go, Ugh, shall I go running? <laughs> and then you think, nah, fuck that shit. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, darling, I've been having a nap. Thank you. Thank you. It's oh, no. oh, 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 <laughs> man. May I? Yes, you may. Mm. Oh, what is that? Ugh, what is that? Is that? What? It's just a kind of a mango a, smell or something. Well, it's just a bit of chicken residue or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was hungry. <laughs> welcome, welcome back. It's great to see you again, Thank you, of Harry. course. You're right about the exercise. Yes. Yeah, I never do any exercise. Oh, no, you mustn't. No, well, I tell you what I do do sometimes. I go to the butchers, I get the largest piece of fat I can find, oh. right? I take it down the park, oh. right, and I run after one of the joggers, right? Oi, this fell off. Might be important. <laughs> ooh, ooh, might be important. Uh, so... <laughs> now, uh, but I didn't know about the depression. No, it has been tough, you know, and, and in all honesty, what do we do? Well, my advice, really, is just to slow down and look out, you know, because it's so hard for you, the little people. You don't get to do a show like this. You know, daily the info chimps are just throwing their shit in your eyes, you know. <laughs> do this, don't do that. Uh, don't eat that, you'll get fat, you know. Don't drink that, you'll become really small. Um, <laughs> wear this, all the boys will love you. Don't wear that, Annie, you'll look like a bee, you know. <laughs> So hard. Where do you think it comes from, depression? Depression? Yeah. You know, <laughs> in all honesty, Harry, I think it comes from childhood. You know, mine, oh, I don't yeah. know about yours, mine was very difficult. Um, Mum was a real matriarch, you know, ruled the house with an iron fist and a gammy leg. Um, <laughs> Dad was a lovely chap, lovely man, very small, actually, again, really small, honestly, tiny, really, barely visible to the naked eye. <laughs> but a lovely man, very creative. He played the guitar like no one else. He played it like a flute. It sounded terrible. <laughs> <laughs> but it was different back then. It was different. You know, I remember my dad sending me to the naughty step, mm. uh, so called because of the erotic carvings that he'd done on it. <laughs> um, and a man, everyone. <laughs> <laughs>